All right. Hello, everyone. I'm here with Patrice from Squiddy, one of our newer ecosystem partners. Um, Patrice, um, just real quick for everybody, can you give a quick intro of yourself and your role at Squiddy? Hi, everyone. Hi, Jacob. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to introduce Squiddy. I'm CEO of the group, which has integrated the Squiddy company into its scope. We are located in the south of France, where the company's headquarters is located. So Squiddy is part of an industrial group, which makes $70 million of revenue with locations in Europe and North Africa. We have our own and departments and factories make it possible to produce the first part and to set up the condition for mass production. All right. Inside the group, we have a new technology department where the Squiddy takes its place. Okay. So for Squiddy itself, for the company, why was the company created? Like what problems does the company solve for customers? Squiddy was created in 2019. We can say that Squiddy was created to meet an ever increasing security need. The idea is to protect goods and people very simply everywhere in the community environment. In fact, we can summarize the spirit of the brand like feel safe with Squiddy. Squiddy creates uh, the Squidum. I don't know if you, yep, you can see it. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Squidum is an alarm uh, with a non-expensive price, which is controlled by a very smart application. This, com this community mobile app allows collaboration between its members to improve its own security, but also this continuity. Besides, this community can manage several devices and several groups of people and devices. So right now, we are going to release the second generation of this device with a new mobile app compatible with iOS and Android. And the main feature of this device is for our network helium compliance. Of course, it sounds and it sounds very loud, more than 90 decibels. It can also be used as a door opening detector without ringing. This device is small that can fit in the pants pocket, for example, okay. which allows you to connect anywhere on the helium network and without any electrical connection because the Squidom has a small battery uh, guaranteed for 12 months. Also, this device connects with our presence detector to create a package with the same criteria. Okay, okay. Our devices promote also HNT mining because Squidom is connected 24-7 and generates uplinks and downlinks in continuous, in fact. It is positioned very easily using double side tape or double side scratch, for example. So it is way, in this way, it's some, we, we can move everywhere in all environments. All right. All right. Very cool. So why did Squiddy, like, why did you choose to work with Helium, I guess? And were there any other options that you were considering and you decided ultimately to go with Helium for specific reasons? I think because the Helium network is a very simple and effective concept that perfectly meets the challenges of the future for IoT. It is decentralized lower wireless network that helps devices connect to the internet anywhere in the world. It also allows them to replicate without relying on satellite tracking hardware or expensive solar plants. In addition, its network is growing very rapidly with significant room for, uh, for improvements. In fact, we have tried to apply the same philosophy for our devices. Okay. Um... And I kind of asked this in the last one, but were you considering any other technologies? Like, were you looking around and shopping and you ultimately landed on Helium? Yes, yes. In some case, we go through the LoRa network of a telecom operator such as Orange in France. Yeah. But whether it is cell phone, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, none of these means of connection is optimal. They are too energy intensive, too slow, too expensive also, or are too, too, too limited range. We have already deployed devices in France, which is the historic market, and we are being deployed in Italy, Belgium, Tunisia, and Morocco. But what is interesting is that we have tested our devices in all configurations with real well success and high level of satisfaction from our, our customers. Okay. So clearly, clearly our, our goal is to be wherever the Helium network is already deployed in the world. Why? Because our products are standard, immediately functional, um, 
on Helium Network and meet a clear need for B2C and B2B markets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, you you answered my next question there. What countries do you have devices and solutions in already? Okay. You, you named a few and you have some expansion plans. Like you said, you want to be pretty much all over the world since Helium is, I can't remember how many countries, almost all of them. So you guys have some big goals to get out there and have Squiddy devices in all of those countries, huh? That's true. Very cool. Um, all right. So can you, you know, you've talked about like the squid home, like, you know, it can be placed on door sensor, you know, it can be in pants pockets and things like that. Do you have any like major partners or any um, really interesting use cases you could maybe talk about like that are using Squiddy products already? Yes, we have many partners and I hope even more in the future with this interview, but yeah, uh, as major partners, we, we can mention Orange, French Tech, uh, also Aconsys, Apps Panel, Jalis, Omniter also, and some big industrial and retail customers and their confidential negotiation. Um, with those partners, are there specific maybe use cases that you could talk about? Like, you know, with one of those partners, are they using it? Are they using your products for like, you know, to track employees for safety are they using it to track assets or anything like that does that make sense like are are there specific yes, correct things? yes we, we we could be we could be yeah. um i am not very uh i, I didn't catch your question for, in fact that, that's okay that's okay i was just like are, are there specific like use cases say like you mentioned orange you know is using is, is one of your partners correct Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So like, how are they using Squiddy products, I guess? Is there something you can talk about oh, in the way they're using okay. that? Yeah. Example of use case include apartment, for example, garage, pool house, cellar, wine cellar. Okay. I don't know, boxes, rooms, weapon storage. Uh, in fact, uh, the possibilities of use uses are endless. Okay. Yeah. No, very cool. Yeah, just examples of those types of things okay. so people kind of understood. But that's perfect. Yeah, wine cellars, garages, home security, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, do you have, like, you know, sometimes I ask this, like, number of devices out there, number of devices on the network kind of sending data over the network already. Do you have any numbers about that? And even if it's not a huge number right now, you know, is it, it growing quickly? Well, huge. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but... Um... We, we have already sold a few thousands of first generation devices and we will move into completely different volumes uh, with the second generation, in fact. Our okay. ambition is to deploy our current second generation products wherever the Helium network is already present in the world yeah. and to contribute at our level to enlarge. We are speaking about squid home alarm and presence detector and also very important, the squid home option with GPS tracking in 2023. Okay. Cool. For, for so, this, we saw new new application and set up production lines to manufacture the, the devices in large volume. We hope to sell 1 million of devices in the next three years. We, uh, we are now going to seek out and set up partnership with distributors and resellers in each, in each of the countries, in fact. Uh, I take advantage of this meeting to issue an invitation to all of you who find our hide interesting and to participate in, in this aventure especially since we will have some nice surprises in 2023 with new products. So, yeah. so, so like I live in the United States, I'm on the West coast. Like it, is there a way for me to get squiddy products here? Do I need to be in Europe to find them? No, no. In, uh, in us too. Yeah. We, we are started in Europe, in Africa, and we up in 2023 in, uh, in us. Okay, cool. What's the best way for customers to kind of get in touch with you or find out more about products and if they're available and things like that? Like, is it the website? Is it email? Are you on Discord or social media? Website and email is uh, is, is great. Okay. We, we answer very quickly. No problem Perfect. with that. Perfect. Okay. Well, no, I mean, this is very cool. And I think, you know, the home security and the asset tracking kind of stuff is an extremely popular use case, you know, mm -hmm. and more and more people want that type of thing, especially like in big cities and stuff like that, you know, so this, this is great. Um, is there anything else you want to, you know, before we sign off here, anything else you want to talk about any way for people to get in touch, any, anything you have planned or anything like that? Well, it's, it's, it's good. Uh, 
at the end, uh, just uh, don't forget, uh, feel safe with Squiddy. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's a perfect motto. I like no, it. We, 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 we need to, 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 to get in touch with different uh, uh, people, uh, uh, with uh, Helium Network. Uh, it's very important for us. But uh, uh, the, the first demand, the questions are very uh, positive for, for us, in fact. Excellent. All right. Love to hear it. And, you know, excited to see what else Squiddy does in the future working with us in Helium. So um, we'll be in touch and everyone kind of watch out for more stuff coming from Squiddy soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Yep. Thank you.